Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, it's been a few days, but you know, in the Uncle Roundy household, a birthday celebration can often be a multi-day affair, so that's kind of what I've been off doing for the most part, but today we're back in the Sports Tribe with Blowback, 10 Stompers, 10 Jumpers, and 1 Filler, so with that few tasks at hand, there's going to be a very specific way to do this, I'm not sure why we get 9 minutes to do this level, I don't think we're going to be needing that much time but let's see about it let's see what happens here okay we're gonna be uh we could be filling our way out of this hole looks like we're gonna be filling our way out of lots of holes actually um okay so let's kind of route it out not a trap but could easily lead to one if we're not careful and the hole is here so if we can get into okay so we need to get over to here Looks like a pretty narrow, looks like a pretty narrow path. Uh, oh, filling is not going to do the job very well, actually. So maybe we can uh, stomp this down and get ourselves going. There we go. Looks like, sounds like two lemmings died there. Uh, so that's probably not so hot. Um, let's see, where to from here? We got some, we got a jumper. Who could hop over there and get some stuff done? Okay, maybe one lemming can go ahead though. Okay, yeah, avoid the trampoline, see what happens when they get blown on the smoke here. Okay, that's good, actually, but when he walks into it... Okay, yeah, he's just gonna get blown into the hole with the rest. Okay, so that's not gonna do. We gotta kinda get him into here somehow. We gotta get one lemming. Okay, I think I'm making people hop to the left. Okay, yeah, there we go. That's kind of what I wanted right there. Just one jumper over there, and then... Okay, and then boop you over there. Yeah, that's how that works. Okay, but then how do I get the rest to safety? We only have a filler here, and a filler isn't going to fill a hole very well. Let's see, but let's go ahead and stomp a path to victory and see how that goes for them. Okay, so... Alright, so if they go over in there, I think that creates an endless loop. And some lemmings walk over this way for some reason? Get blown in a weird sort of... Okay, yeah, this is all going... This is all going all kinds of backwards. I think we want to stomp as soon as we get this going. There we go. Just avoid anybody going kersplat altogether. Maybe we need to get up into here somehow? Is this a thing? Is this a button? Maybe it will turn off the vents. That looks like it might actually do something. That looks like a little piece of uh, uh, equipment there. Let's go ahead and... uh. Okay, that doesn't really... There we go. Oh, hey, yeah. He turned the valve. Okay. Oh, no, that's not the valve you want to turn, though. Oh, okay, so let's see. If you continue doing that... Okay, that only turned... Okay, that turned one off, but not the one I wanted. Are there any other valves around there? Okay, that could be really bad. Oh, we have a flag right here, too, though. Um, let's see. So we could go over here to win, or we could go up here. And I don't think... I don't really think I can fill enough to... Yeah, no. Nice nice work with the bucket there, but that's only one. That's not really going to get it done for anybody. So what is the... Okay. So we know that can actually turn off some some steam when it's activated. We, we let off some steam. But does it depend on how he turns it that decides which one huh okay oops that's probably not so good yeah yeah I knew somebody was gonna die right there all right so but I'm just experimenting for now so so for some reason yeah okay so then he turns that off and that gets everybody killed but if I turn it again then it turns it back on. 
So only that one gets deactivated by that, so I don't think I want to do that. But then what do I do? Okay, I think I see it. We're gonna need everybody out first, but we, I think we are going to be going up to this one right here. We just need to make sure nobody dies, and then we need to wait until everybody is out. So I need to actually... We need to actually wait a second before we turn off this, because we're gonna turn this off it's going to deactivate this and so we need everybody out so that nobody goes cursed splat then what happens is we get the last one to jump up to here or near to the last one we have a few chances to do it because we have multiple jumpers then when this is deactivated we stomp out of here fill this up they walk over to here we stomp down here get blown up by this one and then they walk up to the flag so we just have to wait for everybody to get out first. Uh, we'll wait until the entrance starts dropping off here. Maybe we can fast forward it. Let's see about that. We'll just wait until no more coming out of the hatch here. There we go. Okay. So now that everybody is out, we can get somebody going. There we go. All right. So that's done. He gets blown back over with his comrades or close enough to near okay there there everybody is going now so now all we got to do is stomp out of here yeah okay once you once you work out a path it's pretty simple and then they go in here so you got to fill it up what do you know perfect amount of sand for that job there we go okay so then bop out of here i think they can walk over that little yes okay good and then they get bopped up by the... Okay, good. Yep, that's exactly what I thought would happen. So, there it is. You just gotta find... I think this one... I think this one over here may be a bit of a red herring. Which would actually be visually communicated by the fact that it is uh, situated on top of a red block. <laughs> I wonder if that was... Uh, I wonder if that was intentionally being communicated that way. Like, trying to get to that one. Okay, that wasn't such a bad level. Once you figure it out, once you figure it out, you can turn off the the vent, and then once you figure out a route, it's not so bad. You just have to take a look at it. It's that one was fun. I I enjoyed that one. That one once I got it, you know, as they say, easy when you know how. So what's coming up next? Double trouble. Double trouble. Two hatches or two possible exits. We do have the super swimming which I acknowledge, respect, and fear. Uh, oh, we have a classic exploder this time even. Okay. So, okay, but we only have one. So that tells me that we may need to use that and that a lemming is going to have to die in this level. So let's keep that possibility in mind as we go into the doublest of troubles. Let's go, let's see. We've got, we've got a bit of the troubles going here. Okay, so yeah, there's steel. Okay, well, let's take a look at what we've got. This is a single screener. Okay, that's good to know. So, Super Living might have to save the day here. Not a surprise, really, but okay. So, what's going on here? I think we may be... I'm going to go ahead and let one living go and then platform to hold the rest in, maybe. Let's see if that's viable. Okay, so two lemmings get passed. And we may fence out of here once once help is on the way. Alright, let's see what we've got then. Huh. Okay, I see kind of a... All right, I'm gonna go ahead and super living, and we have a we have the rock climber as well, so there is that to keep in mind. What are we gonna be rock climbing though? So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I only want one living to get past is the idea. Okay. Oh, well, that's not what I want to do. I should have done the pause trick. I want to see first. Yeah, that one will die if it goes off screen. So we need a way to hold the lemmings in for now. And I can't really see a way out of that other than we're going to have to... Okay, we're going to have to platform to the exit. Platform to the exit and also rope it. Maybe the exploder is to hold everybody in. Let's try that. Um... 
Okay, the, huh, I'm too used to Neo Limix. I thought he would just explode on contact. Oh no, we don't want that happening. We don't want people going off the bottom of the screen. So, what's my what's my hold him in trap? That must be a platformer. That's the only thing I can really figure. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have a woman go ahead and like climb the walls. <laughs> Oh, I can, uh, so I can, uh, go ahead and, uh, platform to hold them in. Oh, yeah, and then only one gets passed. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Well, now, hold on a second. Okay, one lemon got to the exit there. Ah, I think I see where we might need that exploder, but this would require some timing. However, it was able to blow all the way through here, so I think if I time a exploder just right I think if I go right here I can get them up into here and then rope out that seems pretty reasonable but I think the more reasonable thing would be to have the super lemming go do that we may have a bit of a visual clue here as well as to the timing five four three two one we want it about right here so I think we want to start from roughly here with that okay so all right super limbing up to the top here we go all right so this time all right ah you went off the top of the screen that's uh i wanted you to touch the cursor that's the that's the idea there there we go that's a lot better and maybe actually where i want him exploding three two one almost perfect but that is i think what i want because yeah maybe about right here is where i want because i need a place for the rock slider to get out perfect okay there we go so now okay yeah that's a tea tiny hole but we can make it i think doesn't matter which way the rock slider is going the rock slider is just going to get everyone to victory I keep calling it a rock slider. It's a rock climber. I think I'm thinking about using it in conjunction with the slider, which uh, some folks certainly had opinions about that. Okay, so now, yeah, okay, so we get up to the top here, and then platform to the exit, and then what we want to do is rope. Rope to right here. There we go. Hope that didn't seal it up too much. Okay, yeah. That is good. That's good. That's good. That's beautiful. In fact, I think the only thing I messed up here was I would want my fencer to go... Actually, the fencer might, uh... Don't, don't mess with that. Don't mess with the platform, you fencer. You silly fencer guy. Now everybody is trapped in there. I should have gone a little lower. Try to get that pixel perfect so that the fencer doesn't interfere with it. Okay, yeah, that's much better. So now we just have to get rope into our spot. And then I believe we can start fencing immediately. There we go. That shouldn't interfere with the platform at all. That should be much cleaner. Excellent. Is there a way to cut that off? Yeah, I can jump. Okay. <sighs> Boy, this level... Just when you think you're done with this one, it finds one more way to put the screws to you. There, your majesty. Is that a little more to your liking? I hope so. So we should be able to now rope up out of here. I think I just sealed the hatch. Okay, <laughs> thank God I didn't. That was a that was a bit of a tight hole there. That was not as precise as I've gotten it on previous attempts. But you know what? It's all good now. Let's just get him out of here. That's that's how we do it. I didn't want to. I realized I had another fencer, so I thought maybe that was a better way to cut off. Okay, yes, that is a gold attempt. We did have to use our exploder. We killed one lemming, it's still gold. But yeah, I wanted to use the fi other fencer to cut off the platformer because I thought if I jumped, he might go past it. If I had to, if I cut it off, it's a whole, it's a whole big mess. That level was good though. I did like that one. That was some good puzzle solving required in that level. That was one of the better sports levels yet, I think maybe. Will the next one be as good as well? The Sun Sign Selection. Let's see. A Magno Booter, that's a new one by me. Oh, we've got the Pole Vaulter again. That one was a lot of fun previously. But the Magno Booter obviously walks along the ceiling, which is 
an interesting bit of manipulation. We've got some of my favorite tasks in this level. The pole vaulter, the laser blaster. Uh, the kayaker is also a lot of fun. Uh, we've got some shimmiers as well and some jumpers. So let's see. Let's see what's going on in this one. This is going to be a bit of a walk, but I'm going to go ahead and do one more today. Perhaps at my own peril, but we shall see. We shall see about it. Okay, so everybody is okay. So everybody is reasonably trapped in. That's actually nice. I think I'm gonna be laser blasting them up out of the exit. Exit's right below us. So let's see. Oh, we've got the chain. The chain is always fun. Sometimes, allegedly. Okay, so let's see. Let's start taking someone along the way here. Is pole vaulting going to be necessary? I have a feeling not. So we hop across here, maybe kayak here, or we may need to save the kayaking for down here. Kayaking is usually more of a long haul tool. So let's go ahead and, all right, any kind of platforming measures? We're gonna be needing to get everybody out through here and I think they're gonna bop from here to here we may need to I think there's gonna be a bit of a cutoff here any climbing test so yeah we've got the magno booter are we gonna be walking along the ceiling right here now if I use a magno booter with a laser blaster does the laser blaster shoot down that's an interesting theory but I'm just kind of theorizing right now and doing a whole lot of talking what I need to be doing is is uh, getting somebody on the run here. I think we're gonna be using jumpers. Yeah, I think we're gonna be using jumpers in this kind of capacity. Uh, getting a guy where we need to. Oh, Magno Booter right here. This may be where we walk along the ceiling. Okay, so we're gonna be using a lot of jumpers for one person, it looks like. That's, that seems to be where it's going right now. I've already used five, okay. Let's go ahead and Magno Boot you. I don't know if that's gonna be... Oh, Magno Booting is just along any surface. Well, that's fun. Okay. Oh, we're gonna wanna shimmy right here. Nice to get a sense of how the Magno Boots work. That Wow, those are comprehensive. Once you get walking along a surface, so what I'm thinking is he may go along the wall here. Wow, boy, he'll just keep going, won't he? Along any old... Okay, yeah, so we're definitely going to be using the Magno Boots over here, I bet. In this little R-shaped nook. Okay, okay, this is fun. Okay, I like... Okay, the Magno Booter definitely has some possibilities, but it looks like a perma task, so... So I should have shimmied where I used the boots. Nope, nope, nope. Where do you think you're going, son? That's that's okay. And I don't need you going cur splat on me. You're uh, you're a little better than that. You're meant for greater things. Will we possibly be getting in here somehow? This looks a little conspicuous. Let's see. Let's keep on. Let's keep on trucking for now. I don't I don't want to read too much into certain nooks and crannies just yet. There we go. All right, so now we're going to shimmy right here. We're gonna do the shimmy shay, all right. So, I think we may wanna balloon over this passage. I think a jump, or we may wanna pole vault over the passage. That would definitely be an interesting way to do things, but, okay, if we fall here, another jump, more shimmying at the top of the rackets here. Another jump over the trap tennis ball. Need to get this blowing so that when he jumps to it, I can let him go, kind of release him. Yeah, there's a lot of jumping involved here to release from tasks. But I'm just kind of really at this point assessing if I want to use the ballooner right here. The ballooner might be okay, but... This might be a good place for a pole vault, actually. Although, I don't really see myself having enough room to run and gun it. I'm going to try jumping over the water, but I, it looks deceptive. 
Well, if you never even do it in the first place. I don't think it can get over a pit like that, though. So I'm thinking maybe, yeah, balloon over the water here and pop it on this corner and it bops to here. That's what I'm thinking, at least. All right, let's try ballooning and popping it on the... There we go. Yes! Okay, yeah, that worked perfectly. Excellent. Okay, so now... Yeah, okay, so now this should be pretty sim... Well, I say it should be pretty simple, but uh, I'm going to need a... There we go. That's the kind of hop I was looking for. Just had to get close into it. So now we're going to... Oh, wow. I thought I, I thought I used a shimmier. Did I have the jumper out still? No, I don't think I did. I think it just kind of... Wow, that moved fast, but I'm glad it worked correctly. Um, okay, so I think I can jump to the chain from... Okay, this is going to be... This is a tricky spot for this, actually. Okay, yeah, but it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, good. Okay, I have the... I have the wherewithal to do this. Okay. Alright, and... Button release. Very good. That could not have gone better. So, okay, we want to now jump over... We're going to ignore this trampoline right here and just bop over the pixel pit. Now, yes. Kayaker being used in the spot that I thought it was going to be used in. So now is where it gets a little bit dicey. Now we're going to be Magno booting. He did not change colors. So I feel like I can release him from his duties at a point. But what point would that be? And how are the physics of it going to work? I think I want to release him from his duty when he's about... Let's see... Okay, he will eventually make his way back around to his comrades. Okay, so what we want to do then is build a platform to stop him. Because what I want to do, I think, is not what I was just thinking, which is to laser blast from here. Because if I laser blast this little point off right here... Okay, I think what I want to do is build a platform. I'm going to try, okay, if he magno boots, okay, I think I'm going to need him to magno boot around the wall because what I want here, okay, yeah, this is going to be a little tricky to sort out because I need to dig them out, obviously, with the laser blaster. Maybe what I want, he comes around here, does all this, and then I build a platformer right here. Do I have any digging tools? None that I can assess. And if they fall from here, I think that's splatter height. I only have one platformer, so I need to place it wisely. And I'm kind of confused as to where that might be. Although, not so much. But yeah, a little. Because I need to I need to do this in the right spot. If I build a platform, where does it start from? I want to see how this kind of works out. I think I can maybe build a platform from right... I, either I'll be able to build a platform from right here to the left... Or I won't be able to build a platform at all. So what will happen then... Okay, I think I maybe see it. Okay, get going from about... Yeah, I'm not able to build a platform at all while I'm booting. So if I just jump... So if I just jump to end that... Can't jump to end it either. Okay, so what? Okay, you can only jump when you're on a on a flat surface. Okay. You can only jump when you're in a place where like gravity would make it make sense that you can jump. Okay, so now all I have to do is work out this final area right here. 
Whoops. No. No, wait, not whoops. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on just a second. Wait. Really, is the solution to this actually jumping too early? Hold on. That would give me a lot more to work with in terms of toolage. This also kind of works as a solution. Okay, jump away from the trigger. No. What am I... Okay, come on. Come on, come on. Now, now that you're... Okay, now that it's doing a thing that I might actually want it to do, it's not going to do it. That's a boot. Okay, I need a jump. I need a jump, not a magnet boot. Okay, so now, now that I'm thinking, okay. All right, so why don't you, now that you're facing left off the thing, wow. So you mean all of this is just like decoration? That's semi-ridiculous. Okay, now I feel like a fool for getting conned into, okay. So now, this might solve some logistical issues I was having. Because now I can kind of, let's see. Now I can use the platformer here. I think I may not, okay, no, 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 no. I still need the magnet boots, just not for this person. Okay, I'm going to balloon then. I'm going to go balloony time right here okay yeah then i'm gonna blow over there we go but do not go happy exit time Aha, you're not done yet you need to platform okay so now now i'm thinking i can send magno boots around the way here uh-huh yeah and then laser blast out right here that's the safest spot assuming this is not too far a fall and it doesn't look like it magno boots move way too slow for my taste it's a cool move all around any terrain kind of deal but dang is it slow holy cow but it looks neat at least um okay so now laser blast out of here hopefully okay that should get everybody to safety i would think don't die okay whoo just a stun then it works Wow, that's like a quarter of the level space. Good grief, there's just all this window dressing out here doing nothing. Oh, that's disgusting. I'd almost just rather solve the puzzle with a quarter of the space than look at all of that and think that it's useful. That's a, that's a real, ugh, golly, there's some... Somebody, somebody made a level and then was like, you know what? You know what its problem is? It's only 25% of the literal length that it should be. I should, I should fill this out with a bunch of crap that makes you think you have to go all around and all walk all over creation and traipsing around and whatnot. Oh my gosh. Ugly level. Ugly, ugly, ugly business. 